Hey guys, it's Amy from Organized Hobbit. I want to apologize in advance if I shake the camera. I'm using my iPhone to video this at the hotel. Um, I wanted to kind of do a little flip through and show the new Recollections Goal Planning uh, Planner because I just think it's beautiful, I think it's fabulous, and I think the way it's laid out is actually incredibly smart. Um, now, the cover itself, just like the other planners, is laminated. It's a nice, thick cardstock with a beautiful quote. It always seems impossible until it's done. And I think that's important because every task, especially when you have a lot of things with it, can seem really monotonous. So having this as a front, I think, will be nice for me. So when you open it up, it's got the same kind of color scheme on the inside, a little bit of a marble theme. And then it's got some quotes. The only thing is it's kind of, the paper is not laminated, but the tabs are. The thing I like about it is uh, even though the tabs are blank, there is stickers in the back that I'll show you that you can put on there if you want to start on a specific month because it is actually undated, which is fabulous. And the nice thing is it starts you off with a goal. So what do you want? Why do you want it? Uh, what's holding you back, what will you do to get it, how will you prioritize it, what's your deadline, how will you reward yourself. And then you start small to achieve your goal, and then it breaks it down into short term, short term and long term, sorry. And there is goals by month, so you can break it down on what you want to know when you get done every month. And I think this would be good for even a school planner or even um, a large project planner that's going to take a lot of time, like renovations, anything like that, would be fabulous in here because then you can keep track of it too, right? And then there's a gratitude tracker, which I think is so amazing because every time you complete like a big one or even a little task, you can write it in, put a date, and then, you know, you can see it as it is as the year goes, what you've accomplished. And then you got what I've achieved so far. So, I mean, you could use this for something else or really whatever you want that's blank. Go for it page again and then it's got you a dream do it vision board and it's kind of like just a blank grid and then it's got a little creating my vision board know what you want gather or draw images that define your vision arrange and create your collage review it daily to stay motivated and I think that's important because sometimes it can seem very hard to stay motivated so if you make this as personalized as you can you might be more motivated to stay on top of your goals and then we have staying motivated, reasons I want to be, reasons I want to do, reasons I want to go. So depending on what your goal is going to be, there's lots of different ways you can fill this out. And then it has a nice bucket list for anything that you want to plan out. And then it's got some notes and thoughts. And all of the dividers, like I said, are not laminated, but they're very nice, thick cardstock. And you go into the month, which like I said is undated, and they all have a very similar watercolored theme, which I absolutely love. Typical notes. And then you get into your weeks. So it starts with goals for the month, and you've got space for 10 goals. And then you have a motivate my routine, which I think is actually pretty ingenious. And one of the reasons that I love this planner is because I find like I want to get so many things done in the day, but I need to get into a routine to do it. So I think having the space to kind of plan out what I, how I want to break down different tasks for this specific goal planner will be very useful. And then, and they aren't sticking together, it just the pages are a little stiff. And then you, like I said, undated header, so you can break it down to this is for this, this is for this, or you can literally use it week by week as it's intended. And then you have your dates, so you have a little space to actually write down what your dates are, a little checklist, and then space for whatever you want to write in there. And then it kind of continues. And then on the last page is little notes and thoughts, which I think is good because anything that I know I need to migrate to the next month, or anything that I want to keep track of that doesn't fit in the daily pages, or weekly pages rather, I can put here. And then this is a cute little quote. All of the weeks are the same, so I'll just kind of flip through the actual dividers and we'll move on. So, somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. And this one's just a pretty watercolored gradient. 
another watercolor splash. I really like this one. I'm a really fan of the green and teals and whatnot. And flip. Breathe it all in. Love it all out. Everything's cute. Seems every couple will have a quote. Ooh, I really like this one. I love the polka dots. I'm such a polka dot person. Ah. Enjoy every moment. It's, and the thing I like about it being this way is you can literally do whatever you want with it. If you need to skip a month when you're on vacation, you can. It's perfect. A little watercolor splash again. Another watercolor. If you haven't watched my channel, I am a complete watercolor freak. I absolutely love watercolor. I uh, believe you can and you will. Another pretty watercolor gradient. It, it's all very similar, but I know for some people design is an important thing, so I figured flip through it. And back to a little bit of a splash, which is pretty. And the nice thing is, is it gives you space and like it's very clear. So even if you wanted to put your own like little project like card or quote, Got tons of room for you to do that, which is nice. Stop saying I wish and start saying I will, which again is super important because we're so easy to forget to just go ahead and do it. Very similar to a previous one. I think some of these are the same. Yeah, some of these are definitely the same. This one's very pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty too. Like, they're all pretty. <laughs> okay, so this, yes, this one here. Um, this is the last one. And this actually goes into a nice part of the planner where it's just note paper, notes and thoughts is the header that's on there. But it does give you space at the top to put what you want or whatever. And you've got quite a few sheets of that. It's got the pretty little pink on the bottom. And then it takes you into the stickers and this is the nice part because it gives you no matter when you're going to start it gives you the ability to have whatever dates on the month so these are for the monthly headers because it is undated and then you have different stickers quotes make it happen you know yes you can success superstar you know letting a little bit of an acknowledgement to the tasks you've completed And then these are the uh, tabs that you can put onto the oops, there, which I don't know if I would want to do that. The only reason being is because I'd be afraid with it being paper that it would peel up where it's not laminated, but I suppose you could just laminate it again. If you're crafty like that, I am not but I'll know when I start my planner and I can just use the other monthly ones from the previous page. And little check marks, a little blank one if you needed, wanted to make it personalized instead of just having it as notes, some little I did it and noted stickers, and then very typical of their planner, um, but these ones are goal specific oriented, so long term goal, goal achieved, blank space, appointment, and goal deadline. I really like the fact that they included this in here because a lot of the times goals and stuff revolve around appointments. So like if you're using this as a wedding planner, you might have an appointment with your priest or you might have an appointment with the florist, etc. etc. So that's really nice. And then a goal without a plan is just a wish. And it's a nice little folder, very typical of their planners and it's very nice. Um, the one thing I do actually really like about it is sometimes I have uh, longer sheets that I want to kind of keep hidden and because of the fact that that opens, I don't know if you can see, there you go, is I can slip it in there and I've never had one fall out. I will say that. Um, even with the, when I was using the Erin Connor ones and they opened up like that, I haven't ever had a sheet fall out. And then finally, a little, uh, pocket, my iPad, a little pocket for you to put your little whatever, 
you know, it isn't removable and neither is this one, um, but the covers are themselves are removable. And again, we have the little colorful marble and then back to a flower. And then there is just some information on the back about the planner. It gives you a little photo of the setup and it contains all the pages that are in it. And you know, it gives you customization options. And yeah, that's it. My next one's probably gonna be about the actual 18 month planner. I'm thinking of maybe getting the horizontal as well just to have a comparison because I wanna try doing different planners this year. Um, just to kind of see what works. I know I'm going to be using a A6 Chic Sparrow as my everyday carry, at least for now is the plan. Um, but for a stay at home planner, I'm really looking to see what different options there are out there besides Erin Condren. Uh, because living in Canada with the exchange rate and everything, it's just too expensive. This I paid, got 50% off of the price and I believe so it came to about $19.99 roughly, um, including tax and whatnot. And yeah, so see you guys soon.